Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> Alright, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Misters, and it was uploaded by Total War, and Lana's video is Total War Warhammer 3 Union Bow Gameplay Showcase. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Alright, we got some more Warhammer drugs, folks. Yeah. Let's get to it. Who's that? He got a cape on, and he's bald-headed. Okay, here's the guy you want. The main guy. The guy can turn into a dragon and shit. He's watching the world burn? The fuck? What's all this shit? You got Jurassic Park soldiers and stuff? What the hell's going on here? You gonna turn into a dragon? Fight against that guy. Alright, let's see this. Alright then. Look, what the hell you alright? He just fell over dead. There he has a big green dragon with no wings. He's shooting out green shit. Okay. Shadows of change. Young bow. Whatever the fuck. Bureaucrat. Administrator. Wizard. He's a you wizard? You siblings see only a diligent statesman. Okay. If but they knew how deep the Jade Dragon's claws could cut. The deep the Dragon's claws would cut. cut. If you and Bo appeals to you, consider pre-ordering... Looks like, like Shenron in humans. some ways. The Celestial Riverlands is the Jade Dragon's haunt in the Oh, he's almost as giant as the castle back there. He starts in the Amira swamps. Is he a fucking titan? In both campaigns, Shit. he'll begin by ridding the realm of orcs. Oh, well, fuck. Campaigns, man. You gotta be careful those campaign drugs. As a prominent leader of Grand Cathay, Yuan Fu is concerned with the Grand Cathay. It can affect instant change in his armies and settlements. Yeah, man, look at all, all this stuff right here. Deals with the Jade Dragon will reveal I totally get all this. Trading faction. Beyond day-to-day -day politics, fuck? Yuan Bo looks to Dick the Wu and, under his father's direction, plots to unlock its true potential. Who's his father, and where's his father? Using steel and stone tokens, Yuan Bo can enact various army, hero, and settlement actions across okay. the map. These range from instantly completing a turn of ongoing recruitment, Levy to restoring campaign Prof movement, to where? resetting diplomatic relations, and many more. How many tokens more? Tokens cannot be destroyed, only transferred. For example, spent stone tokens undergo a five turn stone tokens, period man. being returned to steel tokens. Steel Winning battles tokens. reduces the cooldown by tokens. one turn. Additional tokens are Shit. earned by declaring fortress cities or commercial districts. Yeah, yeah my Yuan Bo is you gotta get the, the target the ship, and stuff. Shen Yang stands in his way. The AI is recruiting, Wait. so we'll send our hero to damage their recruitment buildings. Oh, you're gonna have Employing to find your buildings and stuff. Guarantees a successful hero action against the pure and evil in the world. Attack. La Sun action something. Yuan Bo cannot abide the centers. The oh, there he is. He's, he's teleporting and needed. stuff. Alright, we got... He's, he's in dragon form, but... What the hell's going Infantry on? Infantry beware the Jade Lion's Breath. With the two Lion's charges breath. significant damage, this spell is as devastating as uh, it is What the hell, man? That looks like marijuana smoke. Get that shit out the of Empress here. The Empress Executioner isn't merely you and Bo's title. Twice what per battle, he can summon a jade sword to strike down enemy heroes. Oh and shit, man! This guy is he is he new or something? With access to multiple laws, including I haven't seen him young, before. Light and heaven, Yuan Bo is a savage fighter. Both Those are just normal warriors, dragon, farmers and shit. Close. What the hell? Victory! Where's that supposed to be at? Later, we've recouped our spent steel tokens as stone tokens. There's a lot of green land, man. District action. 
This converts the Tier 3 province capital into a commercial tier district, three. which gains improved effects from settlement buildings and all infrastructure and resource buildings. Oh! What's more, we've now gained additional tokens added to our pool. Some tokens come a long way then, they help you get you all these other the abilities and shit. Partners, allowing for more forward planning. This further reveals neighboring factions who have accepted also be something, with, which, in some cases, creates cascading trade deals. What? Well, shit. Come on, man, so I want to see some action. Coupled with the Ivory Road, which itself reveals further factions to trade with, the Jade Dragon soon has an un. Wait, why is he in the middle of the screen looking at the map for? Agreeing to join distant wars, which you're unlikely the hell was to that about? participate in. He was trolling me, wasn't he? Trade deal with the Ice Queen is a diplomatic note. Where's the Ice Queen at? I am what the fuck? Under secret orders from the Dragon Emperor, Yuan Bo has been tasked with undertaking a portion of a His sword. It's leaking or something. He must seek out locations oh, where the winds mine. of magic gather and build astromantic relays to extend the Oh my gosh, makes my head hurt. Compass. There are four locations Yuan Bo must gain control of, either through diplomacy or force. And well, you better gain control of them quick. In Immortal Empire, the enemy is going to win. In the realms of chaos, the locations are chaos is a ladder. Of Hashir, the ship. Weijin. There's the dinosaur, or I mean the dragon thing. Ushkilak. Oh, the hell. And Dragon Fang Mount. Dragon Fang Mouth. All right, he's gonna break some captured, fire. He must gather his strength whilst the relays are constructed and survive an onslaught of lizard men warriors. Where's the lizard man warriors, man? I don't like those damn reptilian bitches. Shit, you know they work for the Illuminati. What the hell? They just all got scattered and stuff. Each new direction on the compass offers powerful boons. How much does that Long compass Jan cost? Basin provides additional growth based on your Cathayan owned provinces, as well as boons to buildings when activated. Well, come on, man, let's see, Ashir see it in action. Winds of magic power reserve the Ash of Hair. Army, but has no active effect. Dragon River grants character immortality the Dragon River and reduces grunts. attrition casualties, but has no reserve effect. Uh, strengthen. And what? Broken Lands increases the recruitment rank for each Cathayan owned region. The broken and Broken Lands, the Dragon Emperor's Wrath. Yeah. Once each He's got some deer horns on him. Onslaught of lizard men, the Jade Dragon must yeah, you gotta get rid of those lizard men. Lord Mazda Mundi what the hell was that? Of the great oh my himself. god. Ugly bastard. It is here that Yuan Bo must prove he is worthy <clears throat> of his father's trust. Well, I want to see who the father is. As leader of the Jade Court, Yuan Bo has access to the best soldiers, constructs, and artillery Grand Cathedral. There's that dragon. As well as new additions to the Cathedral. I want to call him the Wee Dragon. Arriving in Shadows of Change. I see a T-Rex over there, man. Some dead bodies. The Onyx Crewmen are more than Celestial Court spies. Their wicked beaks, terrifying speed, and impressive numbers make them the perfect choice to harass enemy factions or run down routers. That's a big explosion. Only the most powerful warriors of Grand Cathay's army rise to the rank these of the These ain't warriors, they're fucking the animals. Okay, there's Gifted a warrior right there. Fighters, these dragon blooded generals okay, there you are go. from the armories of Wei Jin and lead their men from the front lines. Oh shit. They just keep fighting and fighting and fighting, man. They never get tired. Every fucking day. Jade and Jet Lion's deadly slabs of card rock wreak havoc in melee, but are valued in There's that for fucking marijuana properties. line and shit and Jet the other Lions one. will dampen the effects of magic, whilst their Jade counterparts will boost sorcery and spellcasting. Alright, what the hell are they carrying? A clock? You in know, you're just standing out there, you're an easy a target. War drum hangs above the gates of every city. And you got but bowls when danger calls your from afar, the drum is carried to war to drive the beat of battle into you the dragons and royal soldiers. From that rhythm, how do you see through all that shit? And it's victory. So yeah, somebody's a score of victory here. Answering the drums beat is free additional Cathayan regiments of renown. Damn, what the is all this shit? Yin, Empress Archers? Roman, and the Jade War Drum. Okay. Nice city. And I'm watching the battlefield stuff. That's a lot of damage. Oh, there he is again. He keeps on going on the field and going out. 
Okay, here we go. Oh man, the battle starts here. The battle for Middle Earth. And that's it for the Jade Dragon. What's up with that kick? That was okay. There you go. Let's turn to a dragon. Of Mother Estankia. Okay so the then. Below to pre -order, All like, right, man. Pre-order that, folks. Yeah. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here. So yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.